Hi, we're the team from Blackheath Cooks, a cook shop and cookery school in South East London. My name's Joy. My name's Alice. I'm Sarah. And we're going to show you a fun, easy recipe. Hi, so today we're going to show you how to make mini vanilla cupcakes. You need a mini cupcake tray um, and you do need the right size paper cases like this that fit neatly into the tray. And the mixture that we're making today makes about 24 of these mini cupcakes, so it makes loads. They're perfect for kids, little bite-sized cake. Um, so I'm going to put these paper cases out. We're just going to make a few to show you. We're not going to make the whole tray. This uh, is the floor, or say the, the spread going in. So I'm adding the butter and the sugar. And what we're going to do is we're going to cream them together. Use a wooden spoon um, so that we're not basically overbeating the mixture. Just to mix it enough so that the butter and the sugar are basically incorporated and they end up looking basically creamy. Great, then we're going to add our two eggs. They don't need to be beaten before you add them. Just chuck them straight into the same bowl and mix those really well. You want it to look nice and frothy. And then once your butter and sugar and egg mixture is as smooth as you can get it, um, we're going to add a splash of vanilla. It's worth using decent quality vanilla extract, about a teaspoonful, but just a little splash of vanilla extract. Um, we're then going to add um, our flour to the mixture. Um, so we've already added a level teaspoon of baking powder to our flour. It's a good, good idea to add them at the same time. So you mix at this point until the mixture is completely combined. You don't want any floury lumps. And that's perfect. So now to make our mini muffins, uh, the easiest way to get the mixture into the muffin cases is to use two teaspoons. Um, so with one teaspoon, and you really only need a tiny bit in here, one teaspoonful, this is quite a small teaspoon, hover it over the paper case and use the other teaspoon to slide it off. You want your paper cases to be two thirds full, no more than that. These are just bite sized little cakes and if you fill them more than two thirds full, and this is the case with any cake, it will overflow over the top of the paper and we don't want that. So you've got your mini cupcakes in there, you don't need to press the mixture down, you don't need to flatten it out, just fill them about two thirds full and then we're going to put them in the oven at about 180 centigrade for no more than eight minutes. Cakes are now cooked, you can see in the oven they've risen up nicely, they haven't changed colour, we don't particularly want them to. Pop them on a heat proof rack. Now if you can touch the top with a finger and they spring back and they don't feel sticky, they're done. You don't want to leave them in long enough for them to go brown. They will burn and they'll dry out and they'll be horrible. So as soon as they're cooked, we can just take them out of the tin. They are quite squashable at this stage, so be careful. Take them out of the tin, let them cool down on the rack. And we're going to leave them to cool completely before we ice them. So now our mini cupcakes are cool, we're going to decorate them with some butter icing. This was made just in a blender using um, 100 grams of soft uh, butter that's at room temperature. We'd never use margarine for an icing, always pure butter. So 100 grams of butter at room temperature, splash of vanilla extract, 300 grams of icing sugar, and enough milk just added to the mixture as it's uh, blending just to make it into a nice kind of thick, smooth, creamy mixture. Now we have actually put some of it into a piping bag with a star nozzle on the end. And so the easiest way to pipe these little cupcakes is just to hold them in your hand and to do a big sort of rosette of icing and then twist it slightly as it comes off. So Sarah's going to put some different toppings on. I mean, you can decorate these as simply or as complicatedly as you like. Um, we're putting just a strawberry on some of these, which is quite nice with the vanilla icing. Um, you can just put hundreds and thousands on. You can leave them plain. You can really do whatever you like with them. So we've decorated these with the vanilla buttercream icing. And some have got just a Malteser on top. Some have got some strawberries on. And we're going to put some gold edible glitter just to add a little bit of sparkle. Now with this gold glitter you don't want to add too much. You just use the tips of your fingers um, and add just a tiny sprinkle over each cake. It goes quite a long way, this edible glitter. So that's how to make mini cupcakes. Mm -hmm.